Hey, good morning, YouTubers. Uh, we are looking at a wonderful event for tonight. Um, I know a lot of people are probably wondering how you can get to this on your TV. So I'm gonna hopefully walk you through all of that here. Uh, we're gonna do it through three different ways. Uh, first, we'll talk about how to stream via a Roku, which I will hold up the remote for a Roku. Kind of looks like that. So we'll do the Roku way. And for all of you that have streaming players with Roku's, how to get to the YouTube channel and pull up the Keith Cares event. Uh, next, we'll do it with Apple TV. My little show and tell here. Uh, Apple TV remote. So if you're an Apple user and you've streamed to a Apple TV, we'll go through the same steps. And then finally, we will walk through how to do it from a TV. So if you have a smart TV, which sometimes people don't even know what a smart TV is. So a smart TV is an internet capable TV. So it's basically a TV that you're streaming apps on, uh, you're streaming content on, you're connecting to the internet. So that is a smart TV. So uh, and behind me here is an LG TV. It has a remote that looks like this. And you'll know that it's a smart TV because it'll have apps on the remote, like Netflix, Amazon, maybe Hulu. Uh, obviously, you'll have like a home or a hub button. Uh, if you have a Samsung TV, Samsung remotes look like this. So again, you could have a home button, which will let you know it's a smart TV. Or if it's an older smart TV, you'll see something called smart hub. So with that, let's get started with the Roku. So obviously with your Roku, you're going to go ahead and turn it on. Typically when you turn on your Roku, it's gonna look something like this on the TV. So right away, if you have the YouTube app, and it's a little hard to see here, you're gonna look for YouTube in your apps. So the, the YouTube I have here is in the top left corner. But if you don't see your YouTube in your channel list, which you can go up and down and look at all the channels that you have, you can go all the way down to the bottom here And you'll see a big plus button and it'll say add channels. You're gonna click on add channels. And then you're gonna go through all the channels that are available. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna find it by using the navigation on the remote. You'll hit the OK button to download it. And then once it installs, it'll be back up on your home screen. So now we're back home now. Now one thing I wanna point out right away is YouTube just came out with a new app called YouTube TV. So YouTube TV is a paid streaming television app. It's not the same as the regular YouTube that you're used to. So you wanna make sure that when you're downloading it that you're downloading just the YouTube app, not YouTube TV. All right, so I'm gonna go down and let's look for the Keith Care celebration. So it gets a little hard to see, but it does say YouTube here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. You'll see it's loading the app. And depending on if you're signed in or signed out, if you've used YouTube on your TV before, you might see some content here that's relevant to you or to things that you've searched like even on your computer, your phone, your tablet. To find Keith Real Estate, to find a Keith Care Celebration, you're gonna to wanna to look for the little magnifying glass, the search icon. And then when you do a search, you wanna start searching for Keefe, K-E-E-F-E, and then start searching real for real estate. And you wanna wait until you find the search results for Keefe real estate. As soon as you do, you can go ahead and click on the Keefe real estate page. And if you're in the right spot, you'll see our logo here. And you can arrow over to our Keith Care Celebration, which is our live event for this evening. And then once you click on it, you're there. All right, so now for our, my Apple TV people. You're gonna grab your Apple TV remote. All of you that have Apple TV, you know that there's one that looks like a picture of a computer screen. 
Go ahead and click on that. And most of your TVs, if Apple TV is already connected, it'll take you right to the Apple TV source right away. If not, always remember that on your main TV remote, there's a source button. So always use the source button to go through all your different sources. All right, so with Apple TV, go ahead and hit the menu button. And then all Apple TV remotes have this little surface touchpad up here. So you're just gonna come down and if you already have the YouTube app, like I do, it'll show up in your apps here. If you do not, obviously if you have an Apple TV, you probably have an iPhone, you probably have an iPad as well or a MacBook. You're gonna wanna come up here and go to your app store, the blue A. Just like we did with Roku, we're gonna go ahead and do a search for the YouTube app. So you can see here, I did a search earlier today. So I just slid over, selected a letter Y. And typically on most Apple TVs, there's only one or a few apps starting with the letter Y. So then I just picked YouTube here below. And then hit the OK button to start downloading it. Again, once you download it, it'll appear in your main menu screen. So just go back to menu on your Apple TV remote. Find and launch YouTube. If you haven't signed in yet, you can sign in if you like. If you don't have to, it's not required. And just like before, we're gonna search for Key for Real Estate. Okay, I typed in enough now to get to the Keefe Real Estate icon. You can see it here, that comes up in the channel list. And here we are. And again, I'm gonna navigate down, go to the Keefe Care Celebration, and you're ready to go. All right, finally, let's say you don't have a Roku, you don't have an Apple TV, but you have a smart TV. Now you're gonna grab your TV remote, so if it's an LG, a TV, of course you have your LG. If it's a Vizio, you grab your Vizio remote. Samsung, you grab your Samsung remote. Gonna wanna find that home button, or it's gonna say smart hub, smart system, uh, looks like a picture of a house. On this TV, this is an LG. It brings up a series of apps at the bottom. If you have a Samsung, it's gonna bring up the app bar at the bottom as well. You're gonna to wanna to scroll through that app bar and see if the YouTube app is already downloaded. On most smart TVs, it already is. If not, you're gonna to wanna to go to the app store, either through Samsung, through LG, through Vizio, and then you're gonna to wanna to search and download the YouTube app. Again, be careful that you're downloading the YouTube app, not YouTube TV. So here I'm gonna just go through the list down here and I'll show you what the store looks like on the LG TV. So this is the content store on an LG TV. As always, you always wanna look for the magnifying glass to search for the YouTube app. Keyboard typically comes up where you can use the keyboard to start typing in YouTube. This TV is nice because I did a search for YouTube already, so I could just find it. And YouTube's already there, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch it.
since I already have an account and it's already connected to the TV, it already finds me. So just like before, we're gonna search for key for real estate. Now again, this TV is smart. Even I've not searched for this yet in my TV, I've done it on my Roku, obviously I've done it on my, my uh, I, uh, Apple TV, I've done it on my phone, but because I'm logged in, it remembers me and it knows I search key for real estate all the time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select it from the search results. And once again, we're gonna look for the Keith Cares. And now we're launched and ready to go. So that is it. Hopefully this tutorial will help you getting the app and get streaming for the celebration tonight. Uh, hope to have a lot of people on, uh, bidding for stuff for a good cause. Uh, obviously we have a tech support number, uh, so that'll be broadcasted on the website. So please call that number if you have any trouble getting to this, getting to the Roku, getting to the Apple TV. Uh, one of us will help you, including myself. And happy bidding. Have a good night, guys. Bye.